Hi everyone, welcome back to Simplified Oral Pathology. Now the topic today is deconstructing a lesion and I'll tell you what it's all about. Now for most dental students, every topic in oral pathology has been reduced to a pink and a blue diagram which you see mostly right from the first year in your histology records. And to most people it does not make any sense. Because it does not make any sense is why most people see oral, oral pathology as a subject that you need to buy heart. That is why one week before the exam, you will find people taking shafers and trying to buy hard the, the facts. The whole thing is because you don't understand what is going on. But once you begin your practice as a dental surgeon, you will see that patients come to you for treatment. Pa patients come to you and they expect you to know what is going on in their oral cavities. To diagnose their diseases, you need to know about the disease themselves. And that is what oral pathology is all about. Now, to understand the diseases, the diseases are in fact depicted in these pink and blue uh, 2D, 2D diagrams. Now, by the end of this video, you will be able to see a diagram like this and understand what they're talking about. That is, you will be able to understand what oral pathology is basically about or how they go about describing any lesion, maybe except one type of lesion, we'll get to that. Okay. Now to start, let us take an example. We will probably be telling you everything with an example, such with examples that you can easily relate to. Okay. Now to start with, let's take an example of this patient who is walking in with a swelling in their mouth. Okay. Like this. And we ask a patient to open their mouth. Now inside their mouth, we'll find the swelling. We'll find a swelling that is attached to the buccal mucosa or we'll find a swelling on the buccal mucosa between the teeth. Let that be anything. That itself indicates something, but let that be anything. We'll get to that. And to represent that, now we're going to represent that. And now this is what it looks like. This paper, this paper that is, is the buccal mucosa and the lemon that is stuck onto the paper depicts the swelling. Now this is what the swelling looks like in the oral cavity. Now we get the surgeon or you excise the lesion yourself and this is the entire lesion. Now the lesion from the mouth, this is what it looks like. Okay. Now on the lesion, you see the covering. See, this is okay. It's a watermelon. It's a green covering, but see the green thing is the actual covering of the lesion. It is what the lesion is covered by. Sometimes it might be the continuation of the skin. Sometimes it might have any projections. Sometimes it might have any ulcerations. It might this, but this is what it looks like. Okay. Now to actually study the lesion, what do we need to do? We need to know what is inside the lesion. Now to know what is inside the lesion, we are going to cut open the lesion. Okay. Now while cutting open the lesion, see, now we can see what is really inside the entire lesion. Uh, now that is the epithelial component. That is the content or the stromal component or the stroma or the connective tissue of the lesion. Okay. So when we see when we talk about the epithelial component, see, this is the part that we're talking about something that is analogous to the skin or that is some, uh, something that is analogous to the mucosa. Now, when we talk about the stroma, we're talking about what the lesion actually is. Okay. Sometimes the lesion is a epithelial lesion wherein the epithelium would be studied more or uh, in more detail. Sometimes, in swellings, especially swellings, we will be focusing mainly on the connective tissue. In some lesions, both have an equal significance. Okay, So that is how we go about. Now when we take this thing into the microscope, this is a very large lesion. It is a very large area to study. So to make it easier, what we do is, we study a small representative area of the lesion or we find an area that contains every unique thing about this lesion and then we take a small such area and we study that see and that's how we, we cut we cut it and see this is what we study and most of the time this is what is seen in the textbook this is what is seen in the circle okay this is the pink and blue diagram or this is what is represented by the pink and blue diagram now Again, let's go about this once more, epithelial component, stromal component. Now when I say that any lesion could be represented such like this, it is true. It could be an intraoral swelling like a fibroma, like a pyogenic granuloma, like a papilloma, where again, epithelial component, stromal component. It could be an epithelial lesion, 
like an OSM, that is a mucosal fibrosis, squamous cell carcinoma, uh, lichen planus, pemphigus, etc., etc., where again there will be such an epithelial component, again a mesenchymal component, um, I'm sorry, a stromal component, wherein we have to study both and what is unique about the lesion will describe the disease. So, I hope you have understood what every pink and blue diagram looks like. And I need to tell you one thing, one type of lesion or one, yeah, one, one variety of lesion that this model, this let's say the lemon model or the melon model does not represent is the cyst. Cystic epithelium will be discussed well in detail, well in detail uh, in later videos. So for any doubts and queries, do drop in a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.